Hi guys, so today I have a review for some aluminum foil, and this is obviously a smaller roll of foil than you would get like at your grocery store. Foiling here. So if you look here on the box, it gives you a little diagram. You have to open it up, pull out the roll, and open, and take it out of the bag. And then you're supposed to feed it through this part here. So they give you a little arrow on that. So once you have that done, you're just gonna feed it through the little opening there and set your roll down and close that back up and if you look right here there's a serrated edge on the box itself and then you would just pull that up and pull it to the size that you need so on the box here it gives you the size and thickness of the actual roll in case you're wondering. Now I got this from Born Pretty Store so I'll have the link down below for that. I'm going to be using this today to remove my gel polish but you could also use it to remove your acrylic and some builder gels depending on the type you have. So like I said I'll have all that down below. So if you're removing gel or acrylic you're going to need a few things. So first you're going to need a file to break the seal on the gel or the acrylic. You're going to need a cuticle pusher to push the gel or acrylic off of the nail. You're also going to need 100% pure acetone and it does have to be 100% acetone or it has to specifically say on the bottle that it's for acrylic or gel. You're going to also need some kind of cotton ball or cotton rounds or something that you can put the liquid on to set on your nail. You're going to need your foil and that's it. So let's go ahead and get started. So to start you're going to get your pieces ready and I'm using this foil here. So you're just going to pull that to what you need and you just want to make sure that that's big enough to go around your finger when you wrap it. So I'm going to go ahead and pull 10 of those out. So what you need to do first is you need to break the seal on your polish. Now you can use a regular hand file like this or you can use an electric. I'm going to use an electric today just because it's a little bit quicker. So as you can see there's still polish on there. I just broke that top layer. So what you're going to do is you're going to get your piece of foil. You're going to lay it down. In the center of that foil you're going to put your little round or cotton ball or whatever it is that you're using. You're going to take your acetone and you're going to saturate that. You don't want it dripping but you do want it completely saturated. So once you have that you're just going to lay your finger down and I like to wrap it around the finger itself, pinch the top and then fold it down. And you're going to let that set for about 10 to 15 minutes depending on your polish and or acrylic. And then I'm going to do that to all my nails and then I'll meet you guys back. So once that's had a chance to soak for anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes depending on what you're doing, I would check every 10 minutes just to be sure. You're going to go ahead and pull that off and then you're just going to push that gel or acrylic away from the nail. Now if little tiny bits stay on there, it's not that big of a deal. You can always go over it with a buffer or you can put your finger back in to soak it one more time just to get everything off. You want to make sure that you're not actually pushing too hard against the nail and that you're not digging into the natural nail. You just want to go very slowly and very softly and just gently push that away. So as you can see, I still have a little bit of residue on there, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to take the piece of foil and I'm just going to pop my finger back in there. I'm going to do the other fingers, and then by the time I come back to that first finger, it should have everything off. So once you've buffed the nail, all that's left to do is to wash your hands and apply your favorite top coat or to go right into your next set, whichever choice you're making. So I'm going to go ahead and wash my hands and add some top coat, and I'll be right back.
All right, guys, so I just wanted to wrap up this review. Um, there was no problems with the foil at all. It's a thicker foil. It kind of reminds me of the oven foil, if you've ever used that, or heavy-duty foil. Um, so it's thicker than average foil. Um, the size is nice as far as the width for wrapping your fingers. I had no problems with it. The only thing that I would say that maybe they could change is that this serrated edge is kind of exposed and you can see it came to me with this piece of tape on it so I'm assuming that it was pulling away from the box because it's so exposed and they just kind of taped it down so I mean it's a minor thing but something to note so I just wanted to say thank you to Warm Pretty Store for sending me this for a review in the description box you guys will find my 10% off discount code that you can use at the entire store and as always thank you guys for watching